got into surfing because my whole life we've kind of lived near the beach and my dad surfed. I think I like tried to stand up on a boogie board. I don't really think there's a specific moment. I think it was just like surfing, going to the beach and surfing with my friends and just having a lot of fun and getting good waves. That's probably why I loved surfing and still love surfing. Katie's surfing is super progressive. She looks like she's definitely watched a lot of John John. When you kind of see the approach that she has, you definitely see her as the forefront of this next generation of all of these young women who are kind of coming up and, and looking at having the full package. And she has this really unique surf style, you know, that we haven't seen in the women's. I watch a lot of Dane Reynolds, obviously. I probably watch him almost every morning before I go surf. I like how Dane makes surfing look fun. That's kind of what makes me most inspired because I know that I'm not going to go out here and get to surf perfect barrels, so it's cool to see people surf relatable waves like Dane does. As we take a look now at Katie Simmer, she already dropped an 8.33 and had another opportunity here. I just like how quiet her upper body is, how deep she gets into that rebound as well and effortlessly. She just does, she's kind of like John John. Katie Simmer's qualified for the championship tour and ultimately um, decided that she wouldn't take her spot and, um, you know, she just wanted to still be a kid. One of the reasons was because I didn't really think my surfing was there. I'm confident in my surfing, but I just felt like taking a year and working on my surfing would be better than just going straight into competing. And just because I kind of wanted to spend more time at home before I like go and give my whole life to competitive surfing. <laughs> this is my brother. Oh. And then these are my parents. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, I've been trying to learn. Me and my brother are trying to learn and then we want to like make edits or make the music to our edits. So I've been trying to practice. Then This is my US Open trophy, the junior. Pretty big one, pretty nice one and I have the US Open in like a week, so hopefully I can get another one in the actual QS. I got the wild card into like the real one this time, not the junior, so hopefully I can get another one of those. I mean, I would probably want to win a world title. I just kind of have a contest and try to do the best I can and see how I do and then take it from there. I remember we were doing push-ins. And I remember I pushed her in on a couple and Katie was like, I got this. And I remember swimming out there with her and she wouldn't let me push her in. And she already had this like, kind of like vision of like where the good waves were, where she needed to be, how to drop in and go for it. And from the very beginning at like nine years old, she was um, like almost like better at sitting on the peak than me. And I've been surfing since I was 10 too. <laughs> that was a trip. It's cool because my parents don't really push me too much to, in any direction so I can kind of just do whatever I want with it which I think is cool because some people that I know's parents are really gnarly and like it's to a point where it's not even really fun kind of and it's I think that's pretty lame so it's cool that my parents are more laid back than most. With uh, balancing the pressure she always knows like that it's for her and her go goals and if she wants to do something else with her life um, that's also fine you know we're kind of just happy that she loves surfing 
Like if she gets fifth or first, it's kind of the same. Um, I mean, with the surf trips, we go on these surf trips, even from when they were small, and we kind of just go surf. We don't really like plan it out and like try and film a certain amount and tell them what they need to do next. We're just kind of like, hey, let's go have fun. Most of the time, the footage we would get would be like on the one foot flat days. And then everybody's like, oh, where's all the good footage? We're like, oh, well, we dropped the camera and we all went out. <laughs> you know what I mean? So. I think what makes me surf is just surfing with friends and honestly getting barreled would probably be what, what makes me want to surf again the most. It makes you remember why you like surfing because on a day like that's one foot and tiny and you're surfing alone and you're frustrated. That might not be too fun but then when you get a good barrel or a good session with your friend then that's what, what makes surfing fun. So. They're just like progressive and innovative and fired up and like willing to take chances and just really pushing like the boundaries and like seeing how far they can go. And it's really inspiring to me to see that fresh perspective. Yeah, I'm just really excited to see where you guys are gonna take the sport. I'm sure I'm gonna be surfing against all of those girls a lot sooner than I think. So yeah, maybe even next year, who knows? <laughs> to be so young and to have so many opportunities and such great opportunities ahead of you like it's awesome for some of the young women on tour you know for someone like Katie who who ultimately decided not to take her spot you know she knows that the tour is not going anywhere I'm sure that people have a lot of expectations on this group you know I'm just happy for them to compete you know when they want to and I don't have expectations for things that I want them to do you know like We'd love for them to come in and change women's surfing and in the jersey just put all of these things together that I see them doing all the time because I think that would be rad for the sport. Yeah, for sure. These girls, I think they're changing women's surfing already. They go faster and they do harder turns and they, they pop ollies and they get barreled. They, those sport chicks are pretty gnarly. probably be multiple world titles out of all of us. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't really, I don't know. I definitely think that there's going to be a couple world titles, though. Um, the key to happiness is getting barreled with your friends and just have fun. It doesn't really matter what you do. Just Having fun is probably what makes you the happiest, I would say.